God is so good. I just want to uh, give a few testimonies here of the, the, the times that I have been with Brother Terrell. And I'm not talking about just overseas. I'm talking about, well, for instance, right here on this platform right here. When I, Sister Annie and Sister Neil and everybody was kind of helping us get a bird's eye view on, brother, on, on, on the ministry of Jesus Christ. Well, we had never seen nothing that I can even compare to what God was doing. I had gone to a couple of denominational churches and they didn't believe in miracles. Amen. And I remember Brother Terrell coming to uh, Memphis. He was over on Lamar Street. And when he was over there, he was preaching Jesus. The Holy Ghost was falling. And I don't know whether y'all remember any of these old guys. Bam Bam Bigelow, Sid Vicious. You know, y'all look at, oh. They, they are wrestlers. <laughs> Sid Vicious, these big... Big men. Sid Vicious was like 6'3", uh, I'm sorry, 7'3", 320 pounds. Anyway, he was a big muscle man. And Brother Terrell was preaching. And back in the audience, he was just a preacher, lifting up Jesus. And this man screamed out, David Terrell, help me. But he had his head down. Brother Terrell said, who is that? He said, David Terrell, help me. He said, come up here. 3,500 3, people or more in that service. Well, this big man got up, and Lord of mercy, he looked like a giant coming down the aisle. Oh, hallelujah. My Lord. And when he came down that aisle, boy, he was, he, you could see a glow on him. He was, I don't know whether he was mad or what's wrong with him. But Brother Terrell walked up to that man and said, God's going to deliver you. Before he did, that Sid Vicious grabbed him on his shoulders and went to pick him up. And Brother Terrell locked his legs around him and crawled up there around that head. And, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Start casting the devils out of that man. That big old man went down. <laughs> he got up. He said, I love you. I love all of y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. See, what God's been doing, the Lord's been doing this over 60 some odd years, a whole generation. It's not just the things that God do overseas, and some people got in their mind, well, God don't do this in America. God have done this in America. Are y'all hearing me? And right here on this platform, I remember that people that had short legs, I'm talking, I'm not talking about two inches, I'm talking about some of them four and six inches shorter than the other. And I would come up and Brother Terrell would grab that leg and all he would say is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And that leg would jump out even with the other one. I'd never seen nothing like that before. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I couldn't understand why everybody was talking about that he was a false prophet. I couldn't understand that everybody said don't follow him. Y'all remember a man named Jim Jones? Uh, that didn't go nowhere with y'all, did he? A man named Jim Jones? kill all them people over there in Africa you know well that's what the people in Memphis was telling us don't y'all follow that little old man that boy he gonna kill y'all he gonna do this he gonna do that praise the Lord but we we believe I've never seen miracles I've never seen God work the kind of miracles that God was doing through this ministry of Jesus Christ there was a lady came up that couldn't have a baby right here right here that could not have a baby and the man of God spoke to us said, by this time next year According to the word of the Lord, you're going to have a child in your arms. Time and time again, the lady came back the next year, praise the Lord, with a little old baby in her arms. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. These kind of miracles that God have done to manifest his glory to us that we out of all people should believe. We shouldn't have any doubt whatsoever in our hearts about this ministry of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, because time and time again, the Lord has manifested his power. I'm going to tell you this right here. My, my baby boy, not too long ago, about eight months ago, he had congestive heart failure. His, um, his, his lungs was, one of his lungs had collapsed, and the other one was half filled with fluid. And Brother Terrell was in Dallas. I'll never forget this. And I said, 
I said, Brother Terrell, my baby boy is in the, in the hospital and they don't expect for him to live. He's in ICU. He said, I'm going to go down there and pray for him. I said, no, sir. I said, you won't be able to get from the opposite side of Dallas down to Carola, Carrollton or whatever that is. I said, and then get back time for service. I said, I'll go. I said, just give me a handkerchief. He said, okay. He gave me a handkerchief. I took off down. Brother Steve took me down there. We went down there. My son was laying in ICU with all those tubes in his nose and all those things on him. And I didn't know what to do. I reached out, but I just felt like I couldn't get no breakthrough. Then all of a sudden, the Lord told me to take that handkerchief and tie it on his left leg. So I tied it on his left leg, and I asked the nurse, I said, would you let this stay on him? She said, if you put it there, won't nobody take it off. So we put it on him. We went on back to the service, back to the meeting, and that was like on a Saturday. Well, Monday, my son called me, and he said, Daddy, I need to tell you something. He said, I told my other brother, but he wouldn't believe it. He said, I need to tell you something, Daddy. He said, while I was laying there on that bed, I said, hold up, don't, I'll be up there tomorrow. So don't tell me no more over the phone. I want to come and talk to you. Oh, hallelujah. So we drove all the way back up to Dallas. When I got there, he was boo-hooing and crying. He said, Daddy, he said, I don't know what was happening. He said, but all around my bed, there was three women-looking things. He said, they was trying to get to me. He said, but I don't know what happened. For some reason, they couldn't get to me. I snatched that cover off his leg, praise God. I said, the reason they couldn't get to you is because of God's anointing. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 See, can't nobody do that but Jesus Christ. Can't nobody, don't nobody have power over the spirit world but Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And after about Three days or so, they let my son out of intensive care. Praise the Lord. He's up. He's doing fine. Praise the Lord. I made him pray that sinner's prayer with me. I said, now nah, you shame. As you know them things going to take you to hell. I said, you got to accept Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And now my son, praise God, he's living. He's living right there in Dallas. He turned his world around. All because of this word right here. Hallelujah. So God ain't just a God that operates overseas. God ain't just a God that operates in Mexico. God will move wherever faith is. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes, you know, if we, are, we as people would get our excitement back. You know, it's good to dance with Brother Maddox. He keeps you excited. But you need your own joy. Uh -huh. I said you need your own joy. You need something to make you jump and shout. Praise the Lord. And if you ain't got nothing, if God ain't done nothing for you in the last 15 years, think about the day you got saved. That's big enough. I said, that's big enough. When he turned your world around, when he changed your life, that's a miracle all by itself. Because who can forgive sins but God only? Come on, give God a praise, somebody. Hallelujah. The Lord has used Brother Terrell time and time again all over America, all overseas, at different places to manifest this gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, when he preached, the Bible said that God confirmed the word with signs following. Amen. And I remember one service, we was in, now I'll never forget this right here. We was in India, and it was about 200,000 people. You can't even imagine, you can't even imagine the crowds. But I took a, a video camera, and I zoomed it to the back as far as I could, and it couldn't reach the end of the crowd. It was that many people there. Brother Terry came out that particular night. And he said, the Lord told me, before he done anything, he said, the Lord told me that there's a family here that's going to commit suicide. You done made your mind up after this service that you're going to kill your wife, you're going to kill your children, and then you're going to kill yourself. You remember that, Brother Dave? Praise God. Hallelujah. Now imagine... Two, three hundred thousand people. Brother Terrell was standing there with his hands in the air and he turned and he said, Woman, it's you. God have mercy. <laughs> everybody in that crowd, everybody in that crowd, ain't no way in the world a man could have picked that woman out. But he said, Ma'am, it's you. That lady told us, she said, before she looked up, she was praying. She said, Jesus, if you are real, help us tonight. Hallelujah. And she said, when she said that, she looked up and Brother Terrell's finger was pointed at her. Praise the Lord. He called her up. He got her husband up and he got her two kids up and he rebuked that suicide spirit over that family. 
and they was going to kill themselves because of lack of finances or whatever. People, you might not know this right here, but in different parts of overseas, these loan sharks, you know, loan these loan poor people money, knowing they can't pay them back, and then they take their land and everything else. Praise the Lord. But nevertheless, this woman came up. Her husband came up. The two little girls came up. And the Lord used Brother Terrell to break that suicide spirit off of that family and set that family free. Hallelujah. I'll never forget it. Praise the Lord. Brother Van Meter and I and different ones, we took some money out of our pockets, you know, and we was blessing them and helping them, you know, because they was really in need. And they was just crying and everything. And the Lord, the Lord blessed us to be able to support those people even a year or so after that. We was just trying to support them until they could get back up on their feet. Praise God. And the very next year, I think it was Sister Taylor went over there with us, and when she did, this lady showed up, and she was fussing at me because I hadn't sent her no money in the last two or three months, and she said, you, you, you not take care of your children. You not take care of your children. So Sister Taylor was standing there, I said, hey, now, Sister Taylor, this ain't my girl right here. I ain't been over here, but <laughs> I ain't been over here but one year. This girl three, four, five years old now. These, they, they, these ain't my children. <laughs> She said, you ain't take care of your jury. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. But God turned that whole family around. I'm saying that to say this right here. The ministry of Jesus Christ have always worked. It has never failed. Praise the Lord. And I, I thank God that Brother Terrell is one of the men, praise the Lord, that have stood right there and preached the gospel just like it's written in the Bible. I remember we was in a place, and, and I, I, I can't, I think it was Kentucky or somewhere. Uh, um, I can't think of that place, but it was in Africa. Anyhow, this lady, this young lady came up. She was, she had leprosy. She had AIDS. And whatever it was had eaten most of her hair off, had eaten her chest off, some of her lips, her cheekbones, and some of her forehead. And she was standing there. And Brother Terrell, and uh, man, he just took the anointing oil and tapped on the head and said, in the name of Jesus, be made whole. And I was kind of escorting her off the platform, and when she got almost off the platform, she stopped and raised her hand. I was standing beside her. Praise the Lord. I saw a yellow light come up under her black skin, go all over that blood and all over that pus, and it went all up her neck. It went all the way up to the top of her head. Thank you, Jesus. She was sweating, but when that anointing got through, wasn't a bad, bloody spot on her body nowhere. Praise God. Now, you can believe this or not. You can believe this or not. The Holy Ghost cleans her clothes too. Hallelujah. It's something real about this gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm not about to give up on it now. I'm not about to give God told us we're going to have a revival and an army of Holy Ghost filled believers. I don't see nobody else but us. Well, that didn't go nowhere with y'all. Hey, Amen. You got you to start claiming something. You got to start believing something. Don't let nobody tell you this ain't for you. Somebody said this was back in the days of the apostles. Uh-uh. This is in our time. We're fixing to see revival. Hallelujah. And we got a man of God that have held to this word down through the, down through the years. A whole generation. Brother Terrell have preached this gospel of Jesus Christ. And Jesus have never failed. Praise the Lord. I want you to stand up on your feet tonight. I want you to honor this man of God. A man that have given his whole entire life for the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Praying for others. Pulling for preachers. Are y'all hearing me? He denied his whole entire life for this ministry. And we can't back out now, church folks. We can't turn away right now. I will never use Brother Terrell's pulpit as a launching pad for my own ministry. I don't believe nobody out of respect should ever use his pulpit for a launching pad. God have established this man. God have established this word. Hallelujah. And he have given his life for Jesus. He's God's servant. He's a man sent by God. Brother David Terrell. Holy, holy, almighty God. God, I'm grateful to you. Thank you, Lord, for the joy and the victory and the peace that you've given me today. Thank you, Almighty God, for being the same today as you was yesterday and today and forever. God, we come to you, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, 
Lord, we pray that it be so. Let the will of God be done in everyone that's here that's hungry and thirsty after righteousness. You said them that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Lord, we know you are no respect of person. You said the in the scriptures. God, you come to save souls. You come to bind up broken hearts. You come to not to send the lame to the hospitals, but let not that which is lame be turned out of the way, but rather let them be healed. Oh, Lamb of God, you said you came to make the blind to see and the lame to walk. Lord, in some of these poor countries, they have a disease called leprosy. You said the blind see the lepers. The one that's got leprosy will be made whole. It's an incurable thing. And people don't live long when they catch it. But, oh, God, you said there's nothing too hard for you. Oh, God, I pray that you Break up my fallow grounds. Lord, you search my heart. Lord, I can't judge myself. Lord, you have to search, Lord, these things that we have in our lives, Lord. We have to cast our bodies. We have to throw ourselves at the feet of the cross, Lord. Oh, God. Help us get in the straight and narrow way more straighter. Lord, all these different doctrines, God, help us to... Lord, your, your word teaches just one doctrine. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Lord, you're the one way, the one truth, the one life. And almighty God, there must be at least six or seven hundred of these prayer requests. Lord, I ask you, answer them, Lord. Grant the answers to them. You're the only one that can answer. God, we can pray over them. We can ask you, but you're the God that told us to, us to look up to you. God, there's too many people looking to somebody else to deliver them, but you are our deliverer. Oh, God, you are he that has come not to judge us, but to baptize us. You said you come to baptize us with the Holy Ghost. <coughs> and we're fire. God, I need some fire. Lord, I ask you, Lord, to overshadow every person here. Lord, we thank you. For Sister Terrell, Lord, we ask you to bless her. Lord, let the blessings of the Lord. God, I've probably already been in heaven. If you hadn't gave her into my life. Oh, Jesus, I didn't have nothing to live for but for the people. But I needed someone that loved me for me. Not because who I was. She, Lord, you showed me in my heart that she would stand with me. God, not because of who I was, but because of what you are in us. Help us, Lord. God, I pray for every preacher here, Lord. Husbands and wives. God, I pray these lady preachers set them on fire for God. If their husbands are not ministers, let them not call to be ministers, let them support them, Lord. Let them stand with them, God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. There's only one way. And you said you was the way. You was the truth. And God, I know there's got to be probably a thousand requests. Probably some of them, maybe two or three times. God, I can't read right. And I keep telling people to print them. But most of them write them. But Lord, you know how to read writing. I pray that you will make a miracle. To every one of these prayer requests. Oh Lord and bless all these.
pastors that's got churches, Lord. And Lord, I know there have to be some of these brothers, Lord, out lifting up Jesus and going from one place to the other to exalt you, to lift you up. You said if you be lifted up, you would draw people to you. God bless those what we call evangelists. God, let the powers of the Lord be demonstrated in them. God, let them see the way, the truth, and the life. God, let them realize it ain't us, Lord. I've heard people, Lord, when a miracle, oh my God, look at that, like they've done it. God, get that old kind of spirit out of us. God, we ain't done nothing but fail. God, we ain't done nothing, God, but come short of your glory. God, I don't want nobody looking at me when something happened. God, and like I've done it, I want people to lift their hands up, yonder. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, God. Lord, you can make us again. Lord, I read where you made it again in the Bible. Make us again, Lord, a vessel. Lord, how the vessel wouldn't work. Lord, it was thrown away, but you didn't let them throw it away. You made it again, Lord. You didn't come to throw. We're vessels, but you didn't come to throw us away. But to remake us. And that time they made that second time, Lord, it didn't fail no more. Oh, God, we thank you. God bless these last couple of days, Lord, uh, today. And, Lord, we'll know probably by in the morning that we'll be here Saturday. But, God, in what you want us to be, that's what I want to be, Lord. I want to be, God, in your corner. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I do ask for all the churches this year as we close the doors on this year. And y'all jump into another year. God, I pray that, that this will be the greatest year that those that are thirsty and hungry, let their churches prosper, not just all in money, but in souls. God, I pray you renew all of us, God. Give us the whole arm of God. God, take these old wild out armors we got on and dump them in the trash pile and give us some new garments, Lord. The whole army of God. We're armies, God. God, and then you said you'd utter your voice before your army. God, we are your army. All in the wonderful, wonderful name of our Lord, our Savior. In the name of Jesus. And everybody lift your hand. Praise Him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Think about that song. I may have sung it sometime, but it wasn't my song. What can I do without Jesus? What can I do without? He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. (coughs) He's everything we need. We're going to take a moment here. For you to help us in the offering, you that wants to help us. You know, we don't get up here and just pull, pull. We just ask you for your help. You know, people ought to be grateful. And once you stand with us, it helps us stay out here on the battlefield. There's a song that I used to sing on the battlefield for my Lord. God, I pray that you'll help us and prosper me. Those that's got lost. Young and save them. And those that's got divided homes, put them together. Or those that ain't getting enough money to take care of things, increase their wages. God, you got a way of helping us. You, you turn the water to wine to a bunch of drunks. And I know if you've done that, Lord, uh, that you can uh, turn some things into money for your people that ain't drunk. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise Him.